Okay. Again, you know, you took someone down, you put him flat, or you you punch him, he rolls to his stomach. He's a big, strong guy. He's covering his eyes. You know, you can't get to the choke, okay? <coughs> we can do an arm break. This is very popular in sports sambo, more so in combat sambo, but it is very effective. Again, we're going we're gonna to try to get him, he's four times stronger than I am, using pure technique. What we're going to do is first, in grappling, the basic rule is when you attack hips on hips and when you defend to get your hips away. So I'm going to put my hips on him. I'm going to put my weight. Notice my hips are right on his hips, my weight's right on his hips. Because if, if my hips are here, lift your hips up, please. See, I'm off. But here, even if you come up, I mean, I'm still with him, see? Come up. It's a lot of hard for him to come in. I'm still in control. So basic rule, hips on hips. I'm going to grab this elbow, and I noticed that open hand with your fingers out like this, you tend to be a lot more powerful than if you're tight. I'm going to open my hand, and I'm going to push my elbow so his head is this way. See that again? Okay. He's real strong. You're not going to elbow him here, and he's just, you know, he just, nothing's happening. He's a real tough guy. I'm going to push this way. Keep my weight on him. Push this way. Now, I'm going to hook this arm here. Do you see what I'm doing? Hooking this arm here. As I push here, see how that came up? And move this way. He's very strong here, but he's weak here. This motion, this motion is not as strong as my muscles here. I'm stronger this way than I am with this muscle here. So I'm using strength, my strong strength against his weakest muscles. Coming to here. Do you see how I'm moving that? Push here. Now, once I get him here, I'm trying to get his arm. He's not very flexible. I'm trying to get his arm so it's lined up. Okay? This way. So the break is coming like this. This comes to the top of his head. Again, the bone. Put the bone right there. Okay, this comes here. Now, grab here. I'm going to come straight back. I'm not doing this. Okay, that works, but be strong. But it's hard. Now be strong. Okay, when I, if I try to turn this way, he's got a lot of muscle here. What I'm trying to do is, make, make, relax your arm. What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to bring his arm back that way. Okay, not this way. I'm not trying to go this way, this way. Please play the tape carefully. Think technique, not muscle. Do your techniques on someone bigger, not because that way you know they definitely work. Okay, my elbow is here. My weight's on him. I'm going to hit. Boom. This. See how I'm hooking here? Remember this grasp to bring it here. This comes here. Now, straight back. And this really breaks him up. Um, one thing you can do too is, come here please again. You're in here like this, and you come in here, okay, and he's a real tough guy. Come in here like this and grab his thumb and bring it over by a thumb, okay? Or you can also put his hand down here. Watch this. As you're coming in here and you break this way, you can also, if you bend his wrist, see here? Just put his weight down, okay? But the actual technique is here, okay? And it's an excellent technique. It's, it's more sports sambo than combat sambo, but it works really well. I mean... This guy does it really well on me. Okay, on bar number three. Let's say the gentleman has his arm out here. Very simple, very simple. He's like he's trying to push his way up, push yourself up, push it. Okay, coming up. Very simple arm break. This is so simple, you know, it's 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 almost I feel sorry, I'm almost bad teaching it, but put your both elbows here. Now all you're going to do is curl him. And again, why would I grab like this when I want him to go here? The thumb is to push down. I'm going to grab this way. And this is stronger. This is strong. So I'm just going to grab here like this and just curl. <laughs> Isn't that easy? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so simple that no one thinks of it. And again, try to keep your hips down. Grab here. Your elbow. See where my elbow is? Put your elbow here. And it can hurt a little bit, right elbow here. Just go here like this and just curl, curl. And it just tears this to shreds. Very simple, but very effective. And that is uh, the, the next armbar. All right, <laughs> we showed before in the first armbar how you could also do a wrist lock. Just from this position, you can also do a wrist lock. Again, this arm, you know, usually our, my arm is here. I'm going to switch the arm to here. I'm going to make sure he's real tight, because if it's loose, he's going to be elbowing me. 
put my butt real close. <laughs> Very simple. Let me move my leg so you can see what happens. You can grab the wrist here and turn and bring it towards you. Okay? Now, obviously, my leg would be here or my leg would be here. Lift, lift it. Lift up here. Um, when you're like this, remember, pull here, pull here. Okay? I want to move my legs so you see what's happening. Grab the hand and just rotate. You don't have to rotate. You can, you can just go this way. But it's a lot better if you rotate. Okay, now let's say he's got real strong wrists. They won't be bent. Just grab the thumb. Grab your wrist. And then from here, see this right here? Move this hand to here and this one here. Real, it's, it's so simple. Put your legs apart, please, so I can see. Okay, again, you go to here. Rotate. Remember, rotate. Okay? Get this real tight. If he's real, real strong, grab the thumb, push it in. Feed it to this one, then grab. You can do it this way. You can do it this way. Okay? Very simple wrist lock. And that's the uh, wrist lock. Wrist locks are good against very big people, like ankle locks, okay? And everyone, you know, if you have keto or I keto, a lot of people know this wrist lock. Where you grab here, you grab here, and you turn for a wrist lock, okay? And you can put it in here and turn. Okay, everyone knows this. You can do that on the ground very easily. Let me show you. Jesse grabs me with a cross wrist. Now, notice he's grabbing me wrong. If he was to grab me like this, I couldn't do this. Remember before, at the very beginning, I showed you this wrist lock here. Remember this? So actually, this is our third wrist lock. He's grabbing me wrong. He's grabbing me like this. And before, I showed you this one. Okay, from this position, think fish hook. We're going to have our groin fish hook. Our groin is going to come this way. We're, we're tilting. Our butt is coming up, and we're tilting. So our pelvis is facing towards us. We're tilting. Little curvature, okay? on the ground. So we're in this position here. At the same time, we're turning this way, okay? This one is turning. So our pelvis is our pelvis is coming up and this is coming up. So it's a it's two fish hooks going the same direction, okay? Remember before we fish hook this way, fish hook this way, or fish hook this way, fish and push hook, you know, yin yang sort of thing. Now they're gonna do the same thing. He's grabbed me wrong. I'm gonna grab here. I'm gonna push this hand in here. My pelvis comes up, and then this goes, and my pelvis, excuse me, my pelvis and my wrist meet with two little fish hooks. So he grabs, and I'm just going to fish hook. He grabs, and I'm just going to fish hook. He grabs, and I'm going to fish hook. And again, if someone, I have a gentleman who uh, played pro basketball. He's a big, big guy, and he's got huge wrists, and this works really well on him. So let me explain again. Remember, my, pel my, my buttocks tighten. My pelvis comes towards my face, and my hands come towards my So it's two motions this way, OK, like this. All right, so again, he grabs, I grab, and a little bit of a fish hook, OK, a little bit of a fish hook. Okay? And that is the, the next wrist lock. Okay, he's in our side of our legs and he grabs, okay? So he's grabbing. We're gonna twist his hand this way and grab here. We're gonna twist this way and grab like this. Lift our pelvis and rotate. Watch what I'm doing. Are you okay? Okay. He's now again, this is against a really big person who's real tight. He grabs. I'm doing is I'm twisting like this, twisting like this. Just point your finger at that hip. Come over here and twist. In the same time, <coughs> your pelvis does that little lift I showed you before. So we're in this position here, and he grabs. Okay, grabbing here. Twist. See, I'm, I'm coming over with this hand, and I'm grabbing like this. Coming over with this hand, and I'm grabbing like this. So this points up. Now, I'm actually, I'm pointing up higher. I'm pointing towards his, towards his chest. This here. Lift my pelvis up and twist. Okay, very painful. Okay, again, see? He's grabbing me here. I'm going to rotate. Okay, 
and he can be real strong. If I grab here, I will be able to rotate his hand. Just point your finger up there. Grab right here. Okay. And just rotate. There we go. Okay, you okay? Yes. I'm sorry. And uh, that is the next wrist lock. <laughs>